and activity. Activity was very important. And it's good to get this win to finish a year off. Uh, Merry Christmas to us. And uh, what, what did you think of Deontay Wilder's performance? Uh, I think inactivity played a big part. But just uh, the plan. I think the plan that we had and sticking to it, uh, he wasn't able to you know, do what he wanted to do. All right, Louis, if you want to ask a question, put your hand up, please. Yeah. Uh, Joseph, congratulations on an incredible performance. Uh, we know you were trying to stay away from the right hand, but you seem to be the one landing all the big right hands tonight. Was that to plan? Andy said to me before the fight, fight fire with fire. And if you're trying to run away from the right hand the whole time, then you're, you're, that's his plan. But we went in with our plan and we stuck to it. And this is the man. This is the man with the strategy. <clears throat> and we know that Deontay Wilder was set to face Anthony Joshua should both of them come through tonight. But now you've got the victory. Are you going to push for a Joshua fight? Uh, I think first things first, we're going to have a nice break. We all want to go see our families and we are ready for whatever fight they want to make, any, any fight. Thank you, thank you. Congratulations. Hi, jo Joseph. Thanks. Um, testament to your mental strength, even after a stoppage defeat against Joe Joyce, you came straight back in, no signs of any gun shyness, which often affects fighters after a first stop stoppage defeat. Um, yeah, it looked like Deontay was the one gun shy in there. Every time you went on the attack, it, there was almost like panic in there. I mean, is it the work you've done with Andy that just psychologically gets you over that first stoppage defeat and it's not be hesitant? Yeah, when you have someone like Andy in your corner with the experience he has and being a world champion himself, he gives you the best advice in the corner. Take yeah, your chances. I'll just say about that. This time last year, Joseph was at his lowest ebb. We'd not long lost to Joe Joyce. Um, but it's testament to the courage, the heart, the mental strength, the skill that, that this man has. He didn't, get, he didn't let himself, he didn't put his head down. He dug in deeper, trained harder, backed himself, and it can show you what anyone can do in this sport. This time last year, we were, no one gave us a chance. Now he's just beaten Deontay Wilder in 12 rounds, beat him every single round of it. That's what this man is. So it's a testament to him, and it's a, a sign to any young fighter, any fighter. It's not over. You can always come back, train hard, stay active. Active, yeah. Stay active. Uh, Mr. Parker, on the subject of activity, uh, what sort of level of activity are you hoping to maintain in uh, the next few years? We want to, like, like Andy just said now, and I know David likes to see it as well, we want to be active and we want to fight as many times as we can in a year. Well, this year we fought four times. It'd be nice to fight four times next year and keep the momentum going. Parker, you said um, there's a little bit of ring rust. That was brutally honest. Do you think that um, you're doing your performance a little bit of a disservice by saying ring rust? Because um, he has been training. He has, it's, it's no... Um, it, it, the one round in two years is as a result of how, how lethal he is. Do you think you're doing your, your performance a little bit of a disservice by saying ring um, inactivity played a part? I think we just executed our plan and you can blame it on ring rust, but he, listen, as an experienced fighter and world champion, he knows what to do in camp and he had sparring and he did everything right, so just... Uh, the, can I say something else? Well, sorry. Yeah. This week we've had to put up with a lot of stuff. Joshua Wilder, the deal is done. We got a tiny dressing room, we got a small hotel room. He's top of the bill, he's the main event, he's a former world champion. Josh, uh, he's riding around in Rolls Royce, you know what I'm saying? All this talk, all these press conferences, it's all about Wilder and Joshua. This man had to put up with it all. He didn't get demoralized, he didn't get his head down. He just dug in again and showed how strong he is. Um, Parker, fantastic performance. Congratulations to you and the team. Um, you thanked Tyson Fury after the fight. We asked you beforehand what role he had in camp. You didn't give too much away. Can you now tell us kind of what impact and what learnings he told you before the fight? Yeah. <clears throat> Our camp started off in Ireland, where Andy 
came up with this game plan and strategies and we worked very hard. Great sparring in Ireland. Mm. A lot of kids there and a lot of uh, great fighters and good boxers. And then we moved over to England for a week and Tyson gave us his time and showed us a few things and we did rounds of sparring which was invaluable for this fight. And uh, you know, so that's why I thanked him because he, he always gave us time yeah. to help in camp. Uh, Andy, I, I don't want to boast but I picked Joe to win. Good man, um, I saw that today. Yeah, thanks mate. Um, what would you like to see uh, Joseph Parker do next? Um, he's ready for anybody in the world. We're all behind Tyson in this unification fight. Um, and we know he's going to win. But outside of Usyk and Tyson, we'll fight anybody. Joe will fight anybody. He's proven he was, he's, he's elite. He's number three in the world, if you ask me. And he could be number one when he gets the opportunity. Um, so that's, that's all I'm saying, yeah. He's ready for anybody. Joshua, Ruiz, who else is there? I'd like to see him get the Joshua fight, avenge that loss, and then challenge. But listen, we don't, we don't ever want to fight Tyson, but we see him winning the fight. So hopefully he retires by then, after two good wins over Usyk, and then Joe will fight whoever's left. Thank you. Abdul Latif Al Sheikh from Al Arabiya Channel. Uh, congratulations. Welcome to Saudi again. Um, I want to hear about your, all your trip from here, uh, from you, the first trip in Saudi till now, about all the experience you had. We've had a great experience in Saudi. This is my third time here. And I did thank the people of Saudi for welcoming us myself and the team and treated us. The, the treatment has been great. And what can I say? We've, we've had a, a wonderful time here and we look forward to coming back again. Thank you. Matt Lenahan for Boxing Social. Joseph, you've had some big wins in your career, becoming world champion. Where does a victory over Deontay Wilder rank on that list? Oh. Listen, it's, it's a top win. Listen, a win over Andy Ruiz was great at the time, and now this time, this win's massive, so, yeah. Look at this man. He's a modern day great, like the old school fighters. Let's theory it off the resume. Ruiz, Takam, Bofa. Joyce, Dillian. Joshua, Chisora twice. twice, Dillian White, Dimitri. Wilder, yeah. I'm probably forgetting a few, and a few more good fighters in between then, yeah, we'll fight them all, so, we were supposed to fight Zhang, he got injured, then we were supposed to fight Dubois, then now he's fought Wilder, and so who's next? Yeah, this is... Mr. Barka, this is Khalaf, uh, Khalaf from my NBC channel. How would you describe this uh, night? Eight matches, 16 fighters. How would you describe it? Uh, what a, listen, this is a wonderful event and great to be a part of it. And there was a lot of upsets in, in the fights and a lot of entertaining fights. And it's, listen, what can I say? It's an amazing event that everyone enjoyed. And now we're ready to go back to the hotel and have a, a burger and chips and a drink and relax. Hi Joseph, first of all congrats to an um, impressive performance against one of the most dangerous guys in this division. I just would like to know, was there at one point, one specific point in the fight where you realized that you're about to win this fight? Yeah, Andy told me every round that I was leading the fight. First six rounds and then he said, do what you're doing, keep, keep it up, and don't get bored. Don't get bored of it and keep it up. That was it, yeah. Hi, hello. Uh, we are delighted to have you here. Saudi Arabia always welcome you. Louis. I hope you are happy here. So, yeah. Say again? Yes. We are delighted to have you here. Oh, I'm very happy. Saudi Arabia always welcome you. I hope you are happy here. Very happy here. Yes. Thank Very you. happy, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Thank you guys thank very you much. Guys. Thanks very much. Have a great night, night. and I'll uh, see you soon.